Hi, I'm Shane Gebauer with Brushy Mountain Bee Farm, and today we're going to talk about setting up our mason bee house. So I've got several things out here on the table, and I'd just like to walk through some of them, and then we're going to go ahead and set up our house that we've got hanging on the building behind us. First off, we've got the house itself. You'll notice that there is a hook on the back to hang it from a building or a tree or something of that nature, a fence post. But it's a good idea to actually put a, uh, a screw maybe in the center just to make sure it's securely fastened. So if there's a windstorm, it doesn't accidentally blow off. Some of the other things I've got here are these tubes and liners, which is one way that you can stock the house and, uh, and provide the appropriate location for those female mason bees to lay. So I've got one set up. The brown portion is the tube, the white portion is the liner. And you can see that this just simply slides in and it does stick out just a little bit. This allows for easy removal of the liners to ensure, so that you can take these out and put them in the fridge and keep them until next year when you're ready to restart the nest. Also notice that the tube does have a sealed end. This goes towards the back of the, the, the house. If you're going to use the tubes and liners, make sure they're in a bundle and put a rubber band around them just to hold them secure as one unit. And it might be a good idea to wedge them in the house with some cardboard or something like that so that it doesn't accidentally blow out in the wind. Another way to get started is using a cartridge like this instead of the tubes and liners. And you can see these are just rubber bands that go around this. And these open up so that you can harvest the cocoons from the cartridge at the end of the season so that you'll have those cocoons for next year. So we're going to go ahead and use, put the cartridge in here. Now this is fairly heavy and unlikely to blow out, but also notice before I put it in, it does have a cardboard backing. Again, this goes to the back of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and slip that in there, like so. And again, this provides the appropriate location that those females need to lay their eggs. That will be the cocoons we'll use for next year. The last thing we've got are the cocoons themselves. Now in this little box, I'll go ahead and open it up and show you, inside this little box are 40 cocoons. These cocoons are a mix of males and females. The males will emerge out slightly earlier than the females and then they'll sort of hang around the front portion of the house waiting for those females to emerge out. The timing difference between when the males emerge and when the females emerge depends a lot on the weather. It could be anywhere from a few days to a few weeks before the females will come out after we see the males. Now obviously for them to get out of this box, they've got to have a hole to escape from. So I'm going to go ahead and use this pen. I'm going to be very careful not to pierce through that cardboard and accidentally harm some of the cocoons that are in the box. But I'm just going to slowly twist it in and this creates a hole that's just about the right size for those bees to emerge from. You need about a 5 16 of an inch hole. So I've got my hole and I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. Now this box is fairly small and certainly fairly light. So I'm just going to use a little bit of cardboard and slip it in there to hold it in place. This is just temporary because of course once those mason bees leave the box I can go back and remove this. And you'll notice if I just tip this forward slightly it's pretty securely fastened. We're going to go ahead and install our mason bees into this house. But before we do that, I'll just point out a few things. You'll notice that there's a fairly large overhang on our houses. This provides just a little bit of protection from the elements for the cocoons when they're in the attic and the cartridges, or the cartridge or the tube and liners if we're using those. However, you will also may see that we've got it underneath some overhang here outside our retail space just to give it a little extra protection. If you have some place like that, it might be a good idea to try and tuck it underneath the, the overhang. I'm going to go ahead and install the cartridge. And I've got my cocoons and I've already put the hole in. So I'm going to put those up here. And again, that's a fairly small box fairly light. I don't want anything to blow, the wind to blow it out or anything to happen to them. So I've got a little piece of cardboard that I'm just going to tuck in there and make sure they're secured 
just in case there's a swirling wind. Again, we don't want to lose those cocoons. Now, we just wait. <laughs> 